Roll, Cherry. Roll, Cherry. Yeah! Where's your daddy, Cherry? Atticus. I got him when he was about this big. That big. And he grew into be this big. I'm proud of myself. You should be proud of yourself. Who's the man? I'll shine you up. That's why I love this guy. He really thinks he's human. I never seen my dog really get attracted to another dog before Cherry. They're so cute, they get along so well. Atticus, stay over here. Cherry. Stay over here, Atticus. Cherry, she took up for Atticus today, wow. <laughs> what are you doing? Cherry and Atticus are mad for each other. Well, really, I think Atticus has, like, a <clears throat> huge crush on Cherry. It's tremendous. Can I hold your dog? Will your dog even come to me? I am. If you hold a dog, it's going to go into conniptions. I think so, too. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, Daddy's right there. You're torturing my dog. I'm not torturing it. Come here. Give a little self confidence, please. She's a little baby and she likes her daddy, and that's it. Yeah. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Good for him. I'm Scott Balecki, and this is my dog, Atticus. He's a black great dame. Atticus, come here. Up. Good boy. Atticus. It's the biggest dog I've ever seen in my entire life. My boy weighs about 149 pounds. He has one big pillow, and he has a regular lay bed with his blanket. He has to have his blanket. If he doesn't sleep with his blanket, he gets very upset. He's so spoiled. It's unbelievable. His little doll that he carries around, his stress toy, his little bunny. To me, my son is human. He's not a dog. And you do animal lovers out there understand that. heartbroken to see him go. I said, you know what? Who knows, he might have a couple months left, he might have a year left. Maybe God bless me, has another two, three years. I'd make the happiest man in the world. Come here, Atticus. And this dog's been through tough times with me, and he's been there for me. So, you know, as long as I have Atticus now, the time that I have him, I'm gonna let him enjoy himself and be happy, because if I was dying like that, well, I wouldn't want to be sitting in here. I wouldn't be out sniffing crotches like he does. Sorry. So bad at kissing Cherry went on a date. This one, she went around and go a little crazy over here. Look at her. <laughs> She's like, I smell things, I smell boy. things, I smell things. Welcome to Broadway Under the Stars. Thank you so much for coming to beautiful Bryant Park. Do you know exactly who's playing? No, I think it's just like different All the Broadway, Broadway shows. shows. Yeah. It was a great first date for Cherry and Atticus. Very romantic. It's his first date, so he's acting, you know, he's acting a little arrogant right now. He's like, this is my girl. You like her? And they got along so well, which is very weird for Atticus to get along with a dog. You know, he's really scared of small dogs. But he gets along with Cherry, and I couldn't believe it. Oh, don't you? Oh. That was like when I first realized that me and Scott were going to get along just perfect. I'm a biker. I have a Harley. Are you really? Yeah, so I go she riding up there. She just bought a Harley toy. Uh -huh. He's got one too. He's no, got the oil can. He's got. She's got the boot that squeaks. He's got the can. The oil can. The foam one. You a little Harley girl. Are you a little Harley girl? She wrecked on Forty Second Street. You want to go inside? You want to do this? You sure? Huh? For little Cherry, we'll go get her an engagement collar for you. I said, you know, for a gag, let's let my dog get married. I mean, I'm nuts enough, man. Why not? I don't know how you felt about it about the first day, remember? Yeah? You want to you wanna go? Yeah. They got, like, 
like engagement college for dogs here. An engagement college? Yeah, the dog's getting hooked up. Oh, really? I have glittery collars, crystal collars. We went through so many collars, but they're beautiful collars. They're just dress collars. They're velvet. Oh, that's adorable. With the crystal. Uh, velvet collars with, like, flowers embroidered on them. Shiny pink, Latin pink. I used to come up with colors I couldn't even understand. Zebras. Colors. I have the uh, bright pink in the glitter in a smaller size. Rocks and stones and anything to possibly think of. Or lavender, which is a big color this season for the ladies. Uh, oh, just give me a f***ing color. So I have it in the uh, pink. I have the baby pink, which is very soft. So I said, you know what, Atticus? I take it to the thing, you couldn't pick anything out, and I wasn't spending enough money on $87 for a little tiny dog. I'm sorry. I'm gonna look around a little bit more with him. Well, I hope to see you again. Maybe bring his wife in after they tie the knot. Oh, We're having our doggy ice cream social tomorrow if you want to stop by. Uh, come again. What time? It's 5 to 8. I might have to be here for this. Okay. That sounds great. Very good. Bye-bye. Bye, Atticus. Say bye. <laughs> I had an old collar from my, my old dog, uh, Hildy, was a female, which is Atticus's aunt from another dog, another breed, uh, Bull Terrier. So I, uh, I took that collar when she was a puppy and I gave it to Atticus to give to Cherry. Wouldn't that be nice from the family? A little family emblem? What do you think? Would that be nice? You believe you're gonna get married. You know what? This is Ethel. I'm Eric. I adopted her from the Humane Society about five years ago. She's part Maltese, part Poodle. A Malta Poo. This is the center of my life now. My little puppy. She lays around the house all day. Right? My little dust mop. Expects to be fed and walked. She doesn't clean. She doesn't do anything except go to the bathroom, eat, and give kisses. That's all she does. But I couldn't live without her. I'm a hairdresser. I've been doing hair for about 25 years now. Everyone knew that Eric was having my hair, so I go to my, I have this black wig on, I'm going to put it on, so that no one knows, you know, I'm like, oh, my God, what happened? Oh, God! Hi. What did you do to your hair? Do you love it? I like it a lot. I Is that a love wig it. or did you dye it? He dyed it! Ah, I don't I know it. about that. Hi. Say it, say it. Who's the top dog? Atticus. All right, yeah. Somebody. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Have something for me, please. You know? Cherry. Cherry. Fix yourself. You look like a slob. Who's this dog? Is this your dog? That's Jedi. Why is Jedi growling at Cherry? That dog has got some human quality on him. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I like the beard he has. He doesn't White even beard. think he's a dog, this guy. He's an old buck. Yeah. How do you? <laughs> you all right? Come here. Come here. It's a dog just jumped up and took Atticus's face. And all I saw was my dog's face like this being pulled. And the dog was crying. The dog was barking. You all right? Come here. Let me see your face. Let me see your face. His face is blue. Very sick, but... You'll be okay, Atticus. Yeah, this guy really needed a beating. He needed a beating. His dogs were a bunch of bullies, and he sat up on top of this thing, and he kind of, like, ruled the park. That guy didn't deserve to be in the dog run. <laughs> General just was running up to me when I put my arms down for him, and the guy, the other guy's dog just attacked him. Is he all right? Yeah. Yo, if he does that again, I'm gonna kick your ass, man. Get your dog out of here. Justin needed to sit down because Justin was like, oh, I'm gonna beat you up. And this guy was like, really? Took his shirt off, was putting Vaseline on his face, was putting on brass knuckles. He was like, let's go. And he started going around the shark, this guy. This guy thought he was in Rocky. And Justin like, yeah, forget it. <laughs> The guy was just crazy in the head. You know, I'm crazy, but this guy just sucked. I like to get that guy's number two and if this gets up worse with, the, with his face. I'm just full of rage right now, man, so I'm just trying yeah. to calm down. Yeah. 
I know my dog's a big dog, but he's really a gentle, docile, loving dog. I want your address and everything, because if this thing ends up worse with his eye, that his dog is sitting there bothering nobody, the dog's face is bleeding because your dog attacked my dog, then takes another dog and attacks another dog. Step into reality. You want to talk about reality? He goes to every dog run, doesn't have a problem, doesn't have a problem. Your dog attacks other dogs. Your dog's in that train. They're too aggressive. So write down your freaking number, and we'll take it from there, tough guy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because if you want a challenge, I'll fight both your dogs and rip their ears off compared to it. Because my dog, f off. No, I want your number right now, or we'll get a cop. I want your number. Step here, man. You don't want to step here. I want your number, or I want to get a cop. I want your number, or I'm going to call the cop right now. Write down your number. Take it. Go ahead, hit me. Go ahead, hit me. My hands are not raised. Go ahead. Go ahead. My hands are not raised. I want your number. Fuck you, the cameras are here. I thought you were going to hit him. No, let it go. Let it go. Don't, don't edge him on. Don't edge him on, man. I just want a number. Don't edge it on. Come in here and hit him. Poor dog's face is bleeding. Your dog attacks another dog. And all of a sudden, you're tough in front of a camera. I don't care about him. I'm being nice. I defend my son, my dog. I'm, I'm, I'm a mite that. I'm sorry. People out there think I'm a bad person. But I defend my dog. You're right, big guy. Oh, there she is. Oh, look at that little day. Oh, look. Hi, Good to see you. How you doing, Sheila? Good to see you. How are you doing? Hi, Mel. Sleep alone. Oh, look at this. Go on, so well. They're so cute. And so is she. She's so small. He's so big. I know. Come on, let's take a walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, right? yeah, I'd love to. Well, he's a purebred. Okay. He's got his papers, so he's very well brought up. If you see him in the park, he gets picked on. He's a tough boy. He's got to be tough when he has to be tough. Right. But all together, he's a big sissy. He's easy to get along with. Exactly how Scooby Doo is on TV and the cartoons, exactly how great Danes are. They are all tough. They're the king of the dogs. They're arrogant and cocky. At the same time, they're just big, gentle, pushy cats. If you drop something on the floor, something falls. Bang! They run in reverse and try to hide underneath the bed. I think he really likes your dog. My dog has nothing to offer except youth and beauty. Youth and beauty. And a great personality. And she comes from a loving home. Oh! oh. A little butt yeah. sniffing. Yeah! And a broad true romantic. I think he will sniff other dogs. It's only canine. We picked out a bench in between the Brooklyn Bridge. We sat down on there and I said, Atticus would like to know if <gasps> Cherry... It's pink! If Cherry <laughs> would marry Atticus to be his dog wife. Oh, my God. How can I put that? God. His companion. Cherry, what do you think? You see how this fits on her. Oh, my God. And Atticus picked this out himself. Atticus, what great taste you have. I think it'd be nice. If these dogs would hook up, just to have a little fun. Absolutely. I, I just want to know, will, will Cherry be able to, like... Well, I don't think they're going to have puppies. Work with your dog? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's really small. And, and if I they do have puppies, a little bit. they do have puppies, <laughs> I'd love to see something big come out of this dog. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a moment with Cherry. And Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll I'll be over back. here. The men will be hanging over here by the bench. What do you think? You gonna be yes? I don't know. What do you think, huh? You want to marry Attica? I'm proud of you. You picked out a nice toy. I get you a nice, pretty dress, and I can paint your nails. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I think that's the answer right there. Is that a yes? Yes. Is that a yes? yes. Who's the man? Who's the man? Who's the man? Oh, give me who's the man. Look at you. See, now you got responsibility. It's not even you. Oh, Atticus. You're engaged before me. Well, I got to tell you, I'm not walking over the rest of the bridge with you. I'm going to plan a wedding right now. Plan a wedding? We got things to do. We got dresses. We need We can still walk at the end. No, 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 no. I got to find a catering hall. 
music, the food, the dresses, the everything. If I hate you need, give me a call too. We're more than willing to help out with everything we can possibly do. <laughs> Think that dog's neutered? I never asked that. I'm proud of you, Atticus. I'm proud of you. He was going through what most people do when they have doggy wedding. I want the matching leashes. I want the limo. What do you think it's in? Atticus and Cherry got engaged last oh, night. Atticus, yeah. People do when they have doggy wedding. I want the matching leashes. I want the limo. What do you think it's in? Atticus and Cherry got engaged last night. Oh, Atticus, yeah. They got engaged. Thursday. Seriously, you're gonna come Tyson. How you feeling today, Tyson? Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> I can't believe my dog's getting married before I am. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, sweetie. Good to see you. Are we invited? You're all invited. Everybody's invited. Okay, why don't you two guys get acquainted? I'm gonna go get some ice cream for the dogs. I'll be right back, all right? Okay. Come here, Cherry. She's like a really good I girl. Check you she's out. So sweet. Let me see. <laughs> don't you think she's kind of small for Addie? Oh, actually, no. I think she's a big Jack Russell. Addie, do you think she's a little small for you? <laughs> no, they get along so well, actually. They're like adorable do? together. Yep. Really? They get along perfectly. They stick up for each other in the dog run. <gasps> They well, really that's a good thing. Yeah. Denise, you know, she would have been, she was asking all these questions. Where's your dog from? What kind of breed? Ba ba ba, yada yada. Is Cherry like the kind of marrying type or no? Oh, absolutely. I mean, she's like so sweet and loving and she's well mannered. Does Cherry have a father? She does, actually. She's got a great dad. His name is Chris. Denise felt like she was losing her baby. Well, she does have cute little legs, I Addie. mean, she's adorable. Look at her. Look at her tail. Did you see her tongue? Her tongue's pink. Addie, and you have to smell mommy. her feet. Her feet smell good. Look at mommy. Is this who you want to marry? Is this who you want to marry? I'm not sure. I got strawberry. And I got banana peanuts, oh, so we can bust with the peanuts. Oh, look at it. And I got you. Here's a car like both. What are you trying to impress the in-laws? You get her an ice cream, you get me nothing? <laughs> Let me go get you one. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Cherry's Cherry, a great look, catch. She's got great manners. Look at that little tongue. I just want to make sure that Atticus is not, once Cherry grows up to be, you know, have a couple gray hairs, maybe puts on a few pounds, that Atticus isn't going to upgrade oh, and no. get rid of her. Wow, well, you never know. Because you know men. I know. Men to have a tendency. He was raised to be such a good boy, Addie. Here you go, Denise. One for you, too. Thank you, sweetheart. And a pink napkin for the ladies over here. Here's Yay, one for you, one for you. Oh, my God. And Addie, Atticus. You want some ice cream? Yeah, he's the peanut butter banana. Give this a shot. From what I hear, it's yogurt. She is beautiful. She is, right? Atticus, I think we found a perfect match for you. Go oh, look, go Chris on. showed up! I Yay. have seen it all. Hey, Chris, how are you? This is Atticus. I see this gigantic horse. <laughs> then I was informed that it was actually a dog. And then I was informed again that that is actually the dog that Cherry is going to be marrying. This is Cherry's yeah, husband to be. What? It's my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm just Denise. as freaked out this as you are. Nice and to she's meet meeting right. Cherry for the first time. So you guys are in the same kind of position. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Chris thinks that I'm crazy. What? Is this really happening? Is this? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Are you going to be able to make the wedding, Chris? I mean, these people are out of their minds. I don't know what the hell is wrong with them, but they love their dogs this much. I don't know if she's going to be able to do this. She's a little tiny. What are you getting yourself into? That's, that's what it mainly is, man. He's a good dog. Don't feel bad, Chris. I know. It's intimidating. <laughs> Sorry. I'm joking. I'm joking. What am I upset about? I, I tell you, Chris, Atticus is a really good, gentle dog. I mean, he comes from a long line of pure... If you want to get married, give Mommy a paw. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Cherry, you're getting married. You're getting married. If 
by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you a puppy love couple. Oh. Yay! Look, I gotta ask you a question. I was wondering if you guys would be the maid of honor. Let me, let me, let me have a talk with her. Uh, I'll, I'll consult go, go with her. Go take a moment. Okay. Um, she said yes. Cute girl. Hi. You're married. You're married, you little brat. Danielle's a wild, cheeky girl, man. She's really cool. The dog takes after her, and now the kiss takes after me, and it's like, you know, you combine it together really nicely. It's all good. Ethel was a little upset when she found out that Atticus had asked Cherry to um, become his bride, but he's not Jewish, and, you know, she is. <gasps> Damn, this is bigger than my parents' house. Oh. Look at this, this is big. <gasps> Let's go, that's a big thing! Shampoo you can grab, any extra pillows and some napkins, and once you wash it, you find an ashtray. Let me know too. Oh, honey. Atticus, what do you think about this? Look at this. She's got lingerie. Oh, Atticus, it's dirty. Look at her lingerie. <laughs> you want to order food Ooh. for them for dinner? What do you got? She can't have any more. He's in your 20s. Fresh seasonal American food. I'm gonna go get the um. Oh, the they dog got menu they got so dog photos in here. What? What are you gonna get? The dog menu. Get the dog menu. Is this good enough yet, kid? Is it good for you? Is that big enough? Is that good? Oh, you look at who's the king of the house? <laughs> Damn. The pet menu. Look, it's the pet menu. Look, Atticus, you can get bow wow tenderloin oh, of what beef. What do you want? Atticus, cherry, come here, look. Or you can get chow hound chicken. chicken. Whisker Lincoln Liver, Kitty I mean, Salmon Supreme. <laughs> kitty Salmon <laughs> Supreme. <laughs> well, we don't no kitties. Great Major vegetable feast. Nuts. Yeah, a Bow Wow tenderloin of beef and a Chow Hound chicken for the dogs. In room 2025. Don't okay, thank you. Bye. Champagne oh. for the dogs. Oh. Good boy, Atticus. Good boy. Well, I think we need to give them some privacy. I, I think mean. so, too. I mean, we saw everything. It's such a great room. It's beautiful. She's Trails, got her lingerie everything. on. She, they ordered food. They got a balcony. They, they, they live in larger than us. Good for you, too. Good for you, too. OK, we'll see you guys later. Have fun. Have fun. All right, we're going to go. All right, don't do anything your father wouldn't do, okay? And don't break anything, because I probably can't afford it.